Guys, <laughs> 2019 is over. Let's just process that for a minute. Like 2019, a lot has happened in 2019. The last year of the decade. Like, what? <laughs> um, yeah. Let's recap a little. Within the span of this decade, I both turned into a teenager and into a 20 year old. So uh, yeah, quite the decade for me. <laughs> I started my higher education and graduated. Holy fuck. I, I, I did that. I graduated. Yeah. I colored my hair and filled miserably a few too many times. It seems like I just don't learn that if I color my hair a weird color and then just let it fade it's gonna look bad. <laughs> like I've done it so many times I don't know why I'm not learning. Uh, just like yesterday I dyed my hair again into this just slightly lighter color so it's not that bad but still I've got like three different tones in my hair right now and I did up uh, yeah. Moving on I stopped playing football after playing it for nine years. Yeah, <laughs> like from the age of five to 14, I played football. That's a very, very long time. Ah, oh, damn. I started dancing this decade and that led me to joining my dance group, EVL which is basically my second family now, so that's, uh, that's intense. <laughs> I have performed on way bigger stages than I ever imagined I would. I've won prizes on those stages, I have performed in multiple cities and competed in multiple cities and that is pretty insane. <laughs> In this decade, I also entered my first long-term relationship and ended my first long-term relationship. And I am much better for it, if I dare say so myself. I think the most important thing that I've done this decade is that I gained a family so much bigger than the one I was born into. I've had so much fun, met so many new people, made so many new friends and family members and just... You know what? It wasn't always easy. <laughs> I've gone through a lot of hard times, a lot of hardships, a lot of struggles, and it has really, really sucked at times. But you know what? Now that I'm on the other side of the decade, I grew a lot this decade. Yeah, I, <laughs> from ages <laughs> of 11 to 20, there's quite a big difference, but still, I've grown more than I thought I would and I realized a lot of stuff, I learned a lot and um, yeah, I'm looking forward to a new decade in which I can grow even more. So the past decade, obviously a lot has happened, but in the future decade, when that ends, I will be 30 years old. That is, that is a real adult. <laughs> oh God, okay. So I have set some goals for the new decade and those are one, to have lived abroad at least for one year. Two, publish at least one book. Three, travel the world. Like honestly, I just, I just wanna see everything. <laughs> I wanna see as much as I possibly can in 10 years. I want to find motivation that will last. Not just motivation that lasts in the moment, not just like these small bursts of motivation. I want to find my motivation, like the motivation that will keep on growing in me and keep me going for as long as I'm alive or something like that. <laughs> that was very dramatic. <laughs> Five, be a better version of myself. I want to keep on improving myself every day, every year of this decade. And that leads me to my final goal, goal number six. I want to be happy with myself and the person that I am, the life that I'm living. I don't want to just live to be living. I mean, if I'm going to live, I might as well enjoy it. Like. <laughs> You know? So that is like the biggest goal. No matter what I do, I want to be happy while doing it and I want to be doing something that will lead to me bringing joy to others but most importantly myself. 
yeah, those are some pretty big goals, but you know what? I've got 10 years to uh, achieve them and that's a pretty long time. I mean, I've done a lot this past decade. I bet I'll be able to do even more in the future decade because I won't be like literally 12. Anyway, I have absolutely no idea what 2020 will bring me. I have no idea what I want to do. Actually, like I thought I had a plan. I have no plan. The plan has been yeeted out of the window. I have no idea what I'm gonna do. But that's kind of, that's kind of exciting, I guess, you know, not really knowing what's gonna happen. I'm just gonna tell myself it's exciting and not really fucking scary. Uh, yeah. <laughs> okay, guys, I hope you had a great year. I hope you have a even greater 2020. I'll see you in the future sometime. <laughs> Happy New Year. Bye.